Close your eyes. Take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. It could be at the nose, it could be at the chest, the rise and fall of the abdomen. Anywhere in the body that you have sensations that let you know now the breath is coming in, now the breath is going out. Allow your attention to settle there, but don't tense up around that spot. Think of being wide open. Think of the breath being comfortable. If the rhythm you have right now is not comfortable, you can change it. No one is forcing you to breathe in a way that's not good for the body. So you can explore for a bit, see what kind of breathing feels good. Long breathing, short breathing, fast, slow, heavy, light, deep or shallow. When you find a rhythm that feels good, stay with it for a while. If it doesn't start feeling not good, then you can change. Let your mind stay right here. It doesn't have to be moved around by things. Most of the time our mind is like a dog. You throw a stick and the dog immediately runs after the stick. They say you should try to make your mind more like a lion. You throw a stick and the lion just looks at you. After all, it's the mind that's throwing the sticks out. So why should you run after them? Stay right here. Stay right at the source. Try to keep this attention as solid as you can. Because just as there's wind outside, there's also the winds that can blow the mind around. The winds of material gain and loss. Status, loss of status. Praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. All too often we let our minds get blown around. It's as if we put up big sails to catch the wind. And on a day like this, when you have really strong wind, your boat can get capsized. In the same way, when gain comes really strong or loss comes really strong, status, loss of status, you can lose your bearings. You can lose your sense of what's right and wrong very easily. You get blown around by these things. So try to make your mind solid. Let the wind go right past. Because after all, the gain that comes your way, if you lay hold of it, it's going to turn into loss. But if you realize okay, the gain has come, there's a good use I can make out of it. You can be generous, you can share it with others. And that develops good qualities in your mind. The same with status. Status comes and you have power that you didn't have before. Some people let that go to their heads, others realize, okay, here's an opportunity to do some good in the world. There's also uses for praise, uses for, for pleasure. There's also uses for loss. When you lose your material wealth, when you lose status, that's when you know who your friends are. That's when you realize that you can't depend on the world to keep filling you up with good, good things. You've got to learn how to depend on yourself to find goodness. Look inside. There's, there is the potential for goodness there. It's simply a matter of learning how to find it and develop it. When you do, you find that your mind is really solid. The wind can go blow right past. The image they have in the canon is of a stone column, sixteen spans tall, eight spans buried in the ground. No matter which direction the wind comes from, from gain or loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasure, pain, the column doesn't shake. In the same way, you want to make sure that your mind doesn't shake, doesn't get shaken by these things. And that way you can get the best use out of them and not get tipped over by them.